In this lesson, we learn how to expand and simplify thirds. To do so, we first look at four rules for multiplying thirds. The first rule is that a times root b equals a root b. We just don't write the multiplication sign. For example, 3 times root 2 equals 3 root 2. We just remove the multiplication sign. Number 2. Root b times root b equals b. If the numbers under the square roots are the same, we just get the number itself. For example, root 3 times root 3 equals 3. Number 3. Root a times root b equals root ab. Simply multiply a and b. For example, root 2 times root 3. We have numbers under a square root which we multiply. 2 times 3 equals 6. Number 4. a root b times c root d equals ac square root bd. For example, 2 times 2 equals 4 square root 3 times 5 equals 15. We multiply the numbers in front of the square root, then multiply the numbers inside the square root. For example, expand root 5 brackets 3 plus root 2. We multiply each term in the bracket by root 5. Firstly, 3 times root 5 equals 3 root 5 plus root 5 times root 2 equals root 10. Here we have 2 plus root 5 brackets 3 plus root 3. We multiply every term here by every term in this bracket. 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 2 times root 3 equals 2 root 3. We have multiplied the 3 and root 3 by 2. Now we multiply them by root 5. Root 5 times 3 equals 3 root 5. We always write the whole number in front of the square root. Root 5 times root 3 equals root 15. This is our final answer. It cannot be simplified since all numbers under each square root are all different. We have four arrows above which lead to four terms in our answer. 3 plus 2 root 2 brackets 1 minus 3 root 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. Now we have 3 times minus 3 root 3. Since we have multiplied by a negative, we have a minus sign. 3 times 3 root 3 equals 9 root 3. We only multiply the whole numbers together, leaving the 3 under the square root as a 3. Now we have 2 root 2 times 1. This is just 2 root 2. Now we have 2 root 2 times minus 3 root 3. Again we have a minus. Now we multiply the numbers in front of the square root. 2 times 3 equals 6. And we multiply the numbers inside the square root. 
2 times 3 equals 6. We have 6 root 6. Here is 1 plus root 2 to the power of 2. When a bracket is squared, it means to multiply the bracket by itself. We write the bracket twice. Now we multiply each term in the first bracket by each term in the second bracket. 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 times root 2 equals root 2. Root 2 times 1 equals root 2. Root 2 times root 2 equals 2. We have four terms, but we can simplify this because we can add the whole numbers and we can add the root 2s. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 root 2s, so we write plus 2 root 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 root 2s, so we write plus 2 root 2. This is our final answer. We add the whole numbers and we add the square roots that have the same number inside the square root. Here is 4 minus root 3 brackets 4 plus root 3. 4 times 4 equals 16. 4 times root 3 equals 4 root 3. Now we have minus root 3 times 4. So we put a minus sign and we have 4 root 3. Next we have minus root 3 times root 3. Again we have a minus sign and root 3 times root 3 equals 3. Finally, we simplify by adding whole numbers separately to the root 3s. 16 take away 3 equals 13. Plus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 cancels out to leave no root 3s. Our answer is just 13. We can see both brackets are the same, but we have one plus sign and one minus sign. Questions like this always result in an integer answer. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.